there are a few tricks that take the fear out of putting a vertical band on a sweater. I've chosen this time to have a band knit separately. Sometimes you can knit it on while you go with the sweater, but the, um, the row gauge on one one rib tends to be a little bit taller than the row gauge on stockinette, and it kind of pulls it along the edge and, and makes a little bow. So sometimes it works out, but sometimes you want a firmer edge and you're gonna wanna sew it on. My first trick is to knit the band the length you think you want it, which is about the length of the front of the sweater, the swatch in this case, um, stretched a little bit, because I always like the band a little bit tighter. The big trick is to leave it on the needle. If you're a few rows short, or if you, if you have a few rows too many, you can take care of it at the end, so it's better not to bind off. So to sew it on, a lot of times I would use the tail, but sometimes it's not where you want it to be. So you just start in at the bottom, and sew it as if you would any other um, vertical seam, like a side seam. And we have another video on mattress stitch. And that's just what this is. When you're working with like stockinette, and ribbing, most of the time it works out to take one row from the body and one row from the ribbing. It usually works perfectly that it's just a little bit stretched. I did find when I was working with a twisted ribbing that that didn't quite work and that sometimes you had to take like a two rows from the body for every one row here. So I did like three rows um, from the ribbing, well, one, 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 two and went, it went up like that and that works a lot better sometimes you just have to do trial and error you do some you see how it's laying and then you rip it out okay now I've done the about six inches of my swatch and I see that I really like this proportion this may seem a little bit shorter than this but that's pulling nicely for me if it was splaying out and bowing like that I wouldn't like it and I would rip it out and do what I said um, by taking a few double rows. So now I'm towards the top of my, let's say this is the front of the sweater, and I see that I'm a few rows short on my ribbing here. So all I need to do is knit a few more rows of ribbing, looks like two more rows, bind off, and then I can finish this off.